Two. What? You don't need to know. Uh, welcome back to more <laughs> Pikmin 3. Uh, so today we're going to be tackling the other mode of uh, missions. Uh, strange way of wording that. Uh, battle enemies. So this is a mode that I don't intend on fully covering every single stage of. And I swear that ain't just a cop out. Um, I have my reasons for it, which we'll be seeing when we get into it. Uh, we're going to be taking on the first mission, Tropical Forest. It's kind of a demonstration of how this mode exactly works. And you introduce yourself. Hello, it's me again. Hi, I'm Hi. Say. I'm Hi, Nella. Me. I already said my name by the time you made that joke. Mm. Me Say and Ella. No. <sighs> then it sounds like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> <laughs> me Say. Oh me no. Me Say and Ella. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. All right. So um, I I we we did like a practice run as we do. Yes. And I was actually garbage. At uh, this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I was actually, like, completely worthless, so, uh... I, I kind of don't like how it gives me, like, all reds and gives you all yellows at your starting point. I know that maybe it's, like, part of strategy or whatever, but I feel like it makes me inherently more good in a mode that is called Battle Enemies. <laughs> so... Yeah, I, I kind of feel that. Our objective uh, is visible on my side of the screen. Only one of ours for some reason. It would be really convenient for you to see it as well. Um, it is that we got to kill every single enemy in this stage. We can optionally carry them back to base to raise more Pikmin. All the single player. Um, but it's not necessary. If you think you can handle something with a certain number of Pikmin, handle it with that number of Pikmin. It's up to you if you want to waste time doing that. Um, I don't know if I'd call it a waste of time now that I'm saying it out loud and making it sound a lot worse than it is. Uh, get over here, you, you swooping snitch bug. You sound like you're something out of Harry Potter. I've been saying that about a lot of things lately. What I'm reading. <laughs> well, I mean, there's like a lot of Harry Potter esque names in Pikmin. There kind of are. I don't. I don't even like. I don't even know much about Harry Potter, but it definitely sounds it. Yeah. It just. There's a certain way that J.K. Rowling and Shigeru Miyamoto have of naming things the same way. <laughs> Who knew they were star-crossed lovers? No. Uh, 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 anyway. That's a that's a weird a weird crack ship right there. They hire people that are the same conventions at naming things a ship. That's <laughs> that's a little bit odd. <laughs> anyway, um, so you're kind of seeing. All right, so this does have its own unique form of strategy to it. I'm not going to say that it's not strategic though, but I do think it's inherently less interesting than the collect treasure objective. Um, you just simply have to do a lot more at one time and collect treasure. And I just don't find it really as exciting to do this as, a, as opposed to that. Um, and on top of that, the stages aren't even unique. This oh, is really? the exact same map layout, just with the onions in different places. That's kind of garbage. And with different enemies. So they're not even unique stages. We're not missing out on different layouts. Nothing. There are certain maps online that look different, though, but it's just that it's a rotation. Uh, so, yeah, this is the same first area that we had all that time ago back when we started doing the missions. Uh, I'm going to be uh, smacking this ball board right in the eyes because that'll actually make him sneeze for a second. Uh, that'll ah! make him a lot easier to take out with smaller numbers. That would actually probably have been good for you to know that. Um, probably. You can take out ball boards with smaller numbers if you just keep hitting them in the eyes and combo them into a stun lock. Does that work for the bull bears? Uh, any sort of large ball board. Ah, okay. Uh, for the small bull boards, you know the one-hit kill trick. Yeah, I do know that trick. Can I take out a bull bear with only yellows? Are there bull bears in this level? I thought they were just orange bull bears. Oh, are, oh, okay, never mind. They're not bull bears. Oh, yeah, bull bears would have been really nasty. Um, In the entire story mode of Pikmin 3, there is only one bull bear, and it's optional. Isn't that great? That's actually awful. Come back. No, my Pikmin, no. Uh, there's a red potion if you want to flower up. Most of my Pikmin aren't flowered. I'm just being garbage right Maybe now. Maybe we could, like, meet in the middle and, like, have one of us take all the Pikmin and then just flower them and then split them back up again. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna, like, bust down this wall so you can come through. Okay. I'll be arriving with my army. That's what I do. Uh... No, I didn't. I'll just wait for the BD long legs to come around. Stun lock that guy to death. Good. Um, do you want more stuff to raise Pikmin? 
I mean, at this point, I feel like reds would be more useful, but also a beady longling. Okay. I think, like, this is the, yeah, the only thing. The boss, oh, like, baldy long the, legs, ba yeah, the baldy long legs needs, uh, pretty much needs yellows for you to be able to hit him easily. He can be hit with reds. It's just kind of hard, and you have to get him at the right time in his animation when he's not, like, stepping out of bounds. So I guess I'll just raise up more reds, and you're able to help yourself to them. I'll just focus on fighting this thing, then. All right, sounds like a plan. I mean, actually, you know what? Some of them are dying. <laughs> I might. As they do. I might need to raise up at least a few, but we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and rush on this wall and then go back to base. Killing the Spectralids is the worst because those actually count as enemies and they're so hard to hit if you're not standing really far away from them. And if they just keep getting startled by like enemies moving around and stuff, it's really annoying. I think. We still got 10 enemies left in a minute and 40 seconds to do it. I think Baldi's almost done. If we could just do that, that'd be really good. Uh, I might flower up then, if uh, he's getting close. Oh, the oranges came alive! Oh god. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm on my way. Get with me, get with me, guys. All right, potion. Shice. Okay, here I come. Yeah, go get the bears. Uh, not bears, but oranges. Yeah. One minute. God, they took a huge mouthful right there. I'm just trying to like stun lock them both at the same time, and it's having mixed results. Them waking up early is just such a rough time. There we go. Okay, they're done. Eight, eight enemies left. Almost uh, a gold rank from that. There's regular uh, bulb orbs over here. Okay. Oh, you killed the boss. Yeah, I did. Where are you? Um. Uh. Uh. Back the other way. Yeah, I'm somewhere. Good. Good tip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, there, uh, here there's we go. like let's go bomb rocks here. There, are, there were bomb rocks over by where I was too, though. But there wasn't time though, so I mainly wanted to take care of this. Gold rank. Heck yeah. Almost platinum. Four enemies left. I think they're mostly Spectralids, if I had to guess. Seven. Oh, my God. Three left. Okay, where are they? Uh, the bomb. <laughs> oh, the bomb no. rock blew up on zero <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Fireworks. It's like the Pikmin go flying and then the JoJo 2B continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You, you realize that your comments are just going to be flooded with, oh, my God, you watch JoJo? To that I say, oh, no. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I've only ever actually seen the compilation of him of Joseph Joestar <laughs> saying, "Oh no, that's my only in like oh, knowledge." No! And I go back and I watch that video like maybe like once a month because I just <laughs> love it. Just, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there is one final thing that I want to go over now that we have done everything in Pikmin 3. Okay. So, okay, I'm saying this in post because after having more time to sit with it and seeing the mode again for the first time in a couple of years, my opinion of it's actually gone up. My negativity about it was because you beat enemies and bring them back to base anyway and collect treasure on top of the other things that you have to do and collect treasure. So I considered that more interesting, but I actually enjoyed playing through this first stage of it, even if it was the same map, a lot of things were different. So I want to ask you, should this actually be the forever end of Pikmin 3, or would you like to see the 14 stages of Battle Enemies? What do you think of Battle Enemies? Because I might just go for it. I know, reduce the number of overdue bonus videos by five only to give myself 14 more to do. A lot of them would probably involve Masay, so if that, you know, factors into your decision. <laughs> Let me know, okay? See you in a bit. Back to the video. I sort of don't like this. You have to go back to before the day that you killed the final boss in order to keep playing forever. Oh. You can't play forever because the day that you kill the Plasm Wraith, it's over, and if you select this, it's just nothing. Oh, that's strange. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of lame. So you have to kill the Plasm Wraith again if you want to beat the game again, essentially. Oh, that's dumb. Now, what else is kind of silly is that on the gamepad only, when you are on a completed save file screen, keep in mind there's no reason 
to ever select the day end right there because you can't select it. There's nothing to do. While that is the highlighted day, if you look at the gamepad, Alf has a unique log entry that you see at no other time. Ooh! Our mission is over, and we're returning with all the edible matter available in this planet's explorable areas. We shall return to Kopai with our heads held high. The other Hakata, the other um, Hakatation Lu we rescued, Louie, has vanished, which is troubling. <laughs> I thought he boarded the SS Drake with us, but maybe we left without him. Still, As he do. From what we've seen, I'm sure he'll be okay wherever he is. A lot of people think that this is setting up the plot of Pikmin 4, and it's in such an obscure location that I never knew about. Interesting. So wow. it's kind of awkward. Not sure how much I like them doing that. <laughs> um, I completely missed this. And in fact, not knowing this and having a lot of comments telling me about it was the very reason why I have that system now where I release bonus videos early on Twitter and Facebook and ask people, is there anything that should be in this video that's not? So that's what prompted it. This game prompted it because that was such a weird decision for them to lock story behind looking at the gamepad on one specific screen. Interesting. But yeah, that is the very last detail I wanted to go over in Pikmin 3. Holy crap, I played this game for 60 hours single player. <laughs> <laughs> that moment when yeah. you're just like, oh, I've played this a lot. I have to know the answer to what this is in my activity log because that's just single player, not even all the multiplayer we've done. Oh boy. Well, let's see. Playing Galaxy 2 made me realize how terrible the Wii U hardware was because I had to wait for it to load for like three minutes to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like at the time I didn't think much of it because the PS3 was slow as molasses as well, so I was kind of used to it. And then after the Switch, I'm just like, wow, this entire operating system is Sonic 06. <laughs> oh no, that, that's kind of harsh, isn't it? Well, I'm talking about the load times, not the bugginess. Okay. I just mean, like, it has to, like, stop and think about everything, and it's like you're loading 2D images. It's a very thoughtful OS. It sure is thinking about stuff. Okay. Uh, Pikmin 3. Oh, you can only see it on the gamepad. <laughs> Genius OS. Okay, uh... 141 hours, 27 minutes. How do you play Pikmin that much? To be fair, I think you first experienced it on my system. So that includes your oh. playthrough as well. Oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. Oh yeah, you're right, because I was too cheap to buy it myself. <laughs> and you got addicted to it, man. Like I did, I your, did. Your first night with Pikmin 3, you played through like, I'd say like 80% of the game and you yeah. you went for like nine hours. Yeah, I did. I did like Pikmin 3 a lot and then I hated the end of it, but that's besides the point. Yeah, I'm there with you. Thank you for joining me. Aww, that's a little sad actually. It's been kind of ongoing for a really long time now. Yeah, it was just whenever guests were available, I'd do multiplayer stuff with them and yeah. It was fun. Thank you for having me along. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Now, if I can ever get somebody who's not cursed to join me for the Sonic Colors bonus videos, that'd be nice. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I'm garbage at Sonic, so good luck! <laughs> Maybe you don't want to be a guest. Okay, no, you that's know what? what I mean. I'm let like, me, good luck! Let me divert into this story really quick oh, while we're no. here, even wow. though this is about another Let's Play, because I am convinced that my Sonic Color bonus videos are cursed, because every single person who has said yes to appearing in a video I am not naming any names here because I do not want to like throw anyone under the bus. Every single one of them has either had a scandal that ran them off YouTube and they never came Ooh. back. Or they retired very soon afterward for some other reason. Or they vanished without a trace and have never been heard from again. Whoa. And their viewers don't know where they are. That's... Every, That's unfortunate. Other than John, who's been in one of them, every single guest I had lined up, one of those three things has happened to, and that's why they've never happened. That's that's intense. We even had plans to like meet up at conventions to record it with like dates and everything, and then they just didn't show up, and then they disappeared off YouTube. Wow. So, yeah. That's intense. <laughs> For once, it's not entirely my fault. <laughs> <laughs> not entirely your fault. Anyway. Uh, join me back here next time for something else. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck to you, too. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs>